Hello everyone, welcome to FMSC Lighthouse. We are gonna be taking a look at what it is that you need to know to book a private session with me. All of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. Talk to me about energies that surround Taurus in the recent past, please. All right, so we have this page of wands that wanted to fall to the floor. All right, so this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that are surrounding you at this time. Tell me more about this page of wands energy coming out here for Taurus. The Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. The Ace of Wands is feeling the Ace of Cups for you. Tell me more about that. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles, though. So this is you. You're very restricted. You are keeping to yourself. You are choosing to be private. You are discreet at this time. It's like somebody is trying to talk to you or get your attention, and you feel like you just want to take a step back. You don't trust a certain situation. You don't trust this page of wands, whether it's a fire sign or not. You are protecting yourself from some type of energy here. This person that's trying to get through to you is the Ace of Cups. So they do love you. They want more of you as well. But I don't feel like you are in the position of doing that. Okay, as you can see, the miser is keeping everything to himself there. Tell me more about the recent past what's going on in the recent past here the hermit you see so one of you is quiet i feel like you may be the quiet one i mean it could be somebody else all right but i feel like you have this page of wands that feels this ace of cups for you right so um, that's a message coming in from someone that has some nice things to say right? So they want to make you feel good. This could also be somebody that wants to love bomb you. So keep that in mind. This could be an energy of somebody who messed it up before and then they just want to come through and just say everything that you want to hear so that you guys can get on the right track again. Um, I feel like this is you, Taurus. I kind of feel like you're not in the mood in the recent past or you're just choosing to reflect on something. You're probably thinking about what your next move is going to be and just, you know, strategizing is what I feel. You're not really trusting of this energy, whomever this page of wands is. Okay, tell me more. Tell me more about the recent past here. Tell me more about the recent past. The lover's card showing up here. So I feel like the feelings are mutual and that you and this person are into each other. However, you are protecting yourself or just feeling like you need to be quiet for right now or just not speak up or speak to this person. But this individual who is looking to get your attention is someone who I feel... They're not physically um, as active as you would like them to be, which is why I feel like you are withheld. There's not enough action from this individual, whomever this page of wands is. However, they have such a desire to reconnect with you, whether it's an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces energy. We do have Gemini and Virgo here as well. Hmm. Talk to me about this person's intentions. Like, what do they want? Talk to me about their intentions. Their intentions to drive you crazy? No. See, this is why you don't want to deal with this person, right? Because <laughs> you're like, no, I don't want to go through this, right? So you're over here like, I would rather not. Yes, I know that you love me, but what you're going to do is come back into my life and confuse things all over again, which is why even though you have a lot of love for somebody, you are choosing to just step away. All right. I don't even know if this person is aware that um, they want to come back into your life. But when they do that, all they do is cause more problems. Whomever this individual is. Right. Tell me more. And because of that, you know, I feel like they cause you problems because they got a lot of problems. So if they are causing issues with you where you're at, it's because of what they're going through. All right. It's like they can't keep doing something anymore, but they don't know how to stop, all right? 
For some of you, this person is in another connection and they know that they're not supposed to be in that other connection, but they keep on in that connection knowing that they're not supposed to be there. And the more that they continue to lie to themselves or to be in denial, the more they hurt themselves, right? It's like someone needs to leave somebody. It's time. You don't belong there anymore. You know, that's the type of energy that I'm getting from someone around you. And it's like, it doesn't matter how many times you tell them, they don't listen, whether this is your mother, your father, your friend, whomever. It's like, you've told them several times, look, that situation is making things worse for you, which is why in return, you're making things worse for me, right? They're like driving you nuts or someone, someone, they're just they're not sure of what to do or, or how to go about things and they love you but they don't know how to act and they don't know how to act because they're dealing with something that they don't know how to let go of whatever that is right talk to me about the present talk to me about the present when it comes to this energy what they want to do is have balance and to be able to get along with the six of pentacles energy but there's too many people here and i just feel like they need to make a choice someone just fails to make a choice that's what the issue is and the reason why they don't make a choice is because they feel like it's convenient they're holding on to something that's convenient not something that they really want and you're telling them to let it go and to stop it and they don't want to stop it because there's some sort of resource or benefit that they're receiving from another party, all right, or another situation. Talk to me about the present. Tell me more. Tell me more about the present when it comes to this person. Talk to me about the present, the Knight of Swords energy. So it's like they're rushing in, you know, trying to see if you'll give them some type of attention or position in your life. They want a position in your life. If you're a boss, this person wants the job. And it's like, you don't know if you want to give them the job. You're like, I don't know if I can trust you as my personal assistant because I don't need you stealing my money, right? And we're not going to have no Yolanda Salivar situation up in here, right? So uh, how can I trust you? Like, what are your credentials? Um, so there's something like that going on here where you don't know if you can give this person a chance. You know, it's like somebody wants you to trust them more. And, you know, this could be anybody. And you're just like, I don't know. I don't know about you. Tell me more. Tell me more about the present. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, double Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I don't know. This person right here. They just want to come in and dominate, though. That's the problem. I don't feel like you're going to allow somebody to do that, which is why you are restricting yourself, okay? If you are dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius energy, then they are going to want to tell you how you should do it and why you should do it that way. If it's not an air sign, whomever it is is still coming in to kind of delegate you around, and you don't want to be delegated, you know? You're not in that energy of being told what to do by this Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or whomever it is, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more about the present moments. Three of Pentacles still want to get along. They still want to come through. They still want things to work out. But the problem is, is, you know, someone has somebody else, you know, that's what this is telling me. Somebody has somebody else, they're still not cutting out the third party. It's never going to work because I don't feel like Taurus wants to be in a third party situation. So it's like someone needs to cut the other energy out, especially if they know it's not working out with that other person. It's just not, you know, someone is just like a plant living with somebody, getting the water, getting the sun, right? And, and that's it. Like, you know, there's got to be more than that, you know, and, and there's just not, this, this person is just there for whatever they're receiving over there. Not because, you know, um, they have any true feelings for the person. It's just, I, I don't know why someone is somewhere else. They just don't belong there. That's just what I keep getting. Somebody doesn't belong, you know, with somebody else and they keep lying to themselves while they want you, but they don't know how to give it up. 
you know, and, and they're giving themselves a hard time. And then when they come back into your life, this is what they do to you, which is why you are the miser and you would rather be withheld and protect your energy from someone who doesn't even really know what they want. And it doesn't matter how many times you tell this person, they don't listen to anybody. They just want to go through their own experiences and, you know, they're up for the challenge. And I feel like this person is too old to be saying that they're, you know, um, gonna continue to be acting like this. This is, you know, ridiculous. It's time to be more mature and to make wiser decisions. Someone is not being wise. Talk to me about the future when it comes to these energies that surround Taurus. The king of pentacles is in the future in the upright so we know that money is well and we are blessed and we are thankful to be progressing in that direction of abundance and wealth prosperity right tell me more about the future for taurus we have aquarius energy showing up there in the future and this is you know the sun on you the light is on you you are in the spotlight taurus okay so if you're in the spotlight then you have to be even more private about your endeavors. You have to be discreet. You do have to be in the four of pentacles. You do have to behave like that because you can't trust, you know, whomever this is, right? You know, yes, I know that they have some good traits to them. You know, it's not a terrible person. You know what I mean? And, you know, like I told you before, I don't feel like they have a terrible life. Um, you know, I just feel like they are so confused because there's just too many people involved. And if they come back into your life, they just come back in to confuse everything. And there's something that they need to let go of and they don't. I don't know what that is. Tell me more about the future. Tell me more about the future. King of Cups. You have a king of cups here that is looking for an opportunity with you that is a Scorpio, a Cancer, a Pisces, you know, or some type of artist, a creator. This is somebody who is into entertainment, all right? That's somebody who um, is just a performer. This is somebody who is just into the arts, whomever this individual is. Okay, um, they're definitely very intuitive. All right, that's that person coming in in the future. I don't know if you're looking for new love, there's a water sign here. If you're dealing with a water sign, then you already know they want you. Okay, so um, however, this King of Cups is somebody that wants to be in that limelight with you. I don't know if you're going to allow that. Anything else for Taurus? Three of Swords. Why is that? Why do we have the Three of Swords coming out there? Because somebody's about to get their heart broken because you're changing. You know what I mean? It's just, it's that simple. It's that simple. It's like, it used to hurt you, but not anymore. You know, it's like, all right, if I have to go through the Three of Swords, and that's okay because I have the Wheel of Fortune, and I'm just not going to deal with this person anymore. I just feel like you're in this energy of, no, I'm not. Even if I thought I wanted it, you know, I, I'm better off. I'm better off alone. It's that type of energy. All right, that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.